In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a child objective and associate it with your competency. So if we go to Edit Course and Competencies, and I have my structure. Um, I left one blank here under Art History. First, let's take a look at this basic structure I have set up. Um, you can see this Art History competency. In order to achieve this, students would have to uh, obtain each one of these competencies, which are going to be separate modules in my class. Um, and then under, uh, these ones aren't finished yet, they have no objectives under them. But they will all look similar to this, where um, each module would then have um, objectives under it. And these objectives are, you know, main lesson topics that the students will go through. And then under those lesson topics are the objectives specific to that lesson. So um, anyways, I've done that with all these um, first tier child objectives, as you can see. Um, and then the last one I was working on was Easter Island here. So far I have the child objectives, cultural influence and vocabulary. I want to add a characteristics to that. Um, and then to show you here, I also have children objectives under cultural influence where they will demonstrate competency about the Moai theory, how they were moved across the island, and then Moai symbolism, what they're thought to represent. So that's under cultural influence. Then we have the vocabulary, and now we are going to create um, a child objective under Easter Island. Um, that's characteristics. So I go into edit structure, and hopefully we're and then hopefully you're catching on to the process. Um, we don't have an existing learning objective now, so I'm going to create a new one. I'll give it a name. Um, my characteristics. And then I'm going to paste in um, this right here. I wrote down in Word my Okay, then I'm just going to paste in um, this description that I had saved. And then for my additional identifier, I can go to um, the Ohio Department of Education website and get a content standard. I picked out this one ahead of time. And I can paste that. So I already picked out my additional identifier. And um, I said to bring my window back here. So I'm going to paste my content standard in there, um, and that was I think intermediate. There, and then I can say add. And now, if I go to down uh, the structure down here, I can see um, everything that's associated with that parent objective. So I have my characteristics nestled under there. Um, so if I go to home and we'll check it out. Our history, ethnographic arts, Easter Island. So we have cultural influence, vocabulary, and now we have Moai characteristics. So I hope that was helpful to see how to add a new child objective to a slightly more complex structure. Um, thanks for watching.